Yeah. Okay, everybody got their phones turned off, down. We'll call the meeting over. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Bella. Martyr. Here. Mazur. Here. Snyder. Here. Shelka. Here. Wilson. Here. Weaver. Here. Zimmer. Here. Okay. Uh, now agenda items for your sidelines. I have nothing. Uh, city administration. Um, start with you, Bart. Um, yeah, I think we have something at the end here, but um, proper list station been acting up long enough. I have a pump that's at, uh, at uh, Detroit pump, I think it's called, right now. And the price on our new one, because it's in such bad shape. Meantime, I, I have a motor that kind of old, but it was still working last night, so I, I got to call them again and see it. This is to replace the motor at the lift station or something? One motor pump, yeah. And the last time we replaced the pump, I think they ran $12,000. Something that I paid for, for Yeah. So, which I know it's not. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we do I don't think thing. I had any breakdown this time with the, that heavy snow. Yeah, with that pump, I mean, would we be able to put one in for a replacement? That's a, if you say you had a loaner one, or send the other one out to be rebuilt? That's what they're weighing it out right now. If it's worth rebuilding, it's in such bad shape. Okay. Yeah. Great. I think I won't do this one other time. Anyways, I just want to let y'all know that there's an issue. At, we're looking at some really oil. Yeah. 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 Okay. Doug? Uh, a couple of things. First one will make Larry happy. The stove is fixed. The stove is fixed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so hopefully no more gas smell from that. Um, second one kind of goes along with Bart's thing. We had DOT and DOT inspections done on our two engines today. One passed with flying colors. The other one has a couple issues that need to be fixed as soon as possible. You can probably expect about a $5,000 bill next month. Okay. <clears throat> and he also pointed out the on the truck that did pass, the tires on it are over 10 years old, so we'll have to be thinking of replacing 10 tires on that truck. Ooh. Those are original originals from when it was new. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Be tread. ready. Good tread, though. Yeah, great tread. <clears throat> Just old. <laughs> uh, senior lunch is Tuesday at the library at 11.30. There'll be an Irish stew, and Steve's going to make shepherd's pie. And we will not have a senior's lunch in April. Oh, man, where are you in? That's the one you want, right? Yeah, for me. That's it. Hearing anything from the library? We are getting new lights, so they are up. They will be ready to be lit, I guess is the word, um, next Monday. Mm -hmm. So that'll make a big difference in the community center up there. Good deal. All right. Um, now we'll get some amendments to the agenda. So first being, uh, we're going to add on to item number two, the uh, Knights of Columbus. And item number three, the lines white cane. That's going to be in our communications. Make a motion to amend the agenda. Mason? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Uh, approval of the regular meeting minutes from February 7th, 2023, and unless somebody has uh, changes or corrections. There's, there's one edit. Um, when I was reading about the text my gov, it says 8750 for the first year. That's the total cost. So I don't know if that needs to be corrected for record keeping purposes. 
So we would just eliminate and then 3500 annually. It will cost $8,750 total for two years. Okay, so what is it, the 3500 annually? Yeah, so it, we would just need to remove the, the phrase and then 3500 annually. Okay. So eighty seven fifty the first year. For the total for two oh, years. No. Total for two, for years. two years. Okay. Yeah. Two years. Uh, we take a motion to uh, accept the amendments as uh, amended. So move. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Okay, next up, presentation approval of the uh, February disbursements report of $176,521.39 and the electric, electronic wire transfers of $12,080.45. Can I get a motion, please? I'll make a motion that we approve February disbursements. $176,000, of Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Maser? Yes. Schneider? Yes. All right, moving right along. Um, communications. Can I get a motion to put the communications on file? So moved. Smart. All right. Um, first up, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Weaver. Yes. Zimmer. Yes. Martyr. Yes. Mazur. Yes. Schneider. Yes. Sofa. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Um, first up, Memphis trap team to make concern. We are writing this letter today with the hope of being placed on the agenda for the upcoming Memphis City Council meeting, March seventh, twenty twenty-three. We would like the Memphis Trap Boosters to be recognized as a 501c3 nonprofit organization in our community. If passed, this resolution will aid in our future fundraising efforts for the Memphis High School Trap Team. Thank you for your time. Kevin G., President of Memphis Trap Boosters. Kevin? Yes. Hello. Yeah, I, uh, we would like to be uh, recognized as uh, a nonprofit in the community. Um, we're, uh, we do a lot of uh, fundraisers and uh, <clears throat> we get sponsors and stuff for the trap team and uh, we're going for uh, uh, get a raffle license through the state and this is one of the requirements is to be recognized in the community so I'd like to ask for that today so thank you I'll make a motion to uh, recognize Memphis <coughs> Track Boosters as a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Support. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Thank you. Um, I have a question. So I see at the bottom here. <coughs> That they need a resolution to um, certify them. Is that what you just voted on? Is that in here anything about certifying the set of bottom of this page? This is for a gaming license, is what we have in front of us. So we'll make a separate motion? I'm not sure. Well, it says it passed this resolution. We it. For a charitable gaming license, not for a 501c3. I just oh, want I to make sure that we, you know, because I know the Alliance will have a lot of problems when they try to get their 501c3. It was a long, drawn-out process to, to get the 501 c through the state. Mm -hmm. Have you gone through <clears> all the steps? Yes. Yeah, we've been for so this years. So this is your final step? Yes. And this is just for gaming, right? Yeah, this is just for the gaming. And I, I went for the, I went to get the raffle license, and I didn't realize I had had this step in the raffle part of it. I believe once I get this form, return from you that I turned that into the state and then they very good so I'll make sure yeah. so we don't need to do it I'm not sure I thought we just did mm. 
I think we recognize that the 501c3. Yeah. I think we probably need to do this too. Second for resolution. I think. Yeah, the certification is just, you know, confirming that we just did what we did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next up, uh, Knights of Columbus. Uh, dear Mr. Mayor, the Knights of Columbus Council 10501 of Holy Family Church would like to use the intersection of Main Street and Boardman <clears throat> Road as in the past on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Palm Sunday weekend, March 30, 31, and April 1st from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. For the semi-annual Michigan drive, the Tootsie Road drive, as you probably know, Knights of Columbus gives us all the funds collected <coughs> to those with intellectual disabilities and the Special Olympics. Olympics. Please contact me with your approval for this uh, event. Thank you, Jen Master. Uh, can I get a motion to allow the Knights to use the corners? Also moved. Support. Zimmer? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. Great. <clears throat> right, next up, Lions White King. Um, the Memphis Lions Club's requesting approval for their annual White King sale on a 19 in Boardman from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the following days, Friday, April 28th, and Saturday, April 29th, 2023, respectively. Submitted Larry Wilson from the Lions Memphis, or the Memphis Lions Club. Can I get a motion to let the Lions either I'll make that motion to approve the annual West Wing sales on M19 and going up to 8 and 5 p.m. and on Friday, April 28th, and Saturday, April 29th. I'll second. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. All right, next up, the marijuana ordinance with the uh, all the if updates. Um, but uh, our, our good folks here have taken a lot of time to go through and make sure that our ordinances <coughs> per se, all updated to where we needed to be um, and uh, to introduce this. Anybody want to talk on this? Well, I, I can have this if you want. You, uh, if you want, Eric. Three, 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 three of us are Eric and Jason. Right. right. But, uh, I, 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 I did write right up the one so. uh, Actually, uh, this does include all the requirements that we wanted to do in revising the uh, marijuana ordinance. Uh, it, uh, it, it eliminated the 21 days that we had in there that kind of started some problems before. Uh, we eliminated <coughs> the selected uh, members that was uh, members of uh, the uh, OK being went through the, uh, that was a special committee. We eliminated that and put it back into the council. They only do it now instead of the a committee that we appointed. Um, we've uh, revised uh, some of the um, points that we had in there that uh, the, the various or, uh, various um, establishments that we were going to have. Uh, we limit their, their uh, marijuana establishment. We just uh, we had one retail. However, as you know, that we had court ordered another retail outlet. We put language in there too that if one of them goes out of business it will revert back to one. one. Right. So that's also in there. Um, the, uh, I think the uh, one other thing we did too, and this was the, um, on the provisional centers, the provisional centers actually are for the medical marijuana. Uh, and we, uh, Put that at zero, but our uh, we we wanted to 
so that we have no special storefronts. So our attorney wrote it up that uh, specific, and I think maybe I should even read we that word. Yeah, it's right. And I think there, there's, he's got it provided. <coughs> oh, let me find it. Let me just read it. Okay. okay, zero provincial centers operating under a license issued by um, Lara and the MM. And FLA provided provisional centers are permitted if they are collated with a marijuana retailer. A retailer. Now, what what that means is you can't have a. a, a right now, some of the uh, retail outlets are not paying for a medical marijuana license. They are actually selling medi medical marijuana, but so if actually a license can came available on the medical, then they theoretically could probably request that we fulfill that obligation. So now the language, how that's written, provided that it is, is, made, is kind of a word that means an understanding of it. Now, if we want to um, be more concise on that, then we could probably add, change that to unless or accept. That would make it more more precise. Because we don't want another if a, li a license come available. We don't want another storefront. I don't think so economically they would do it anyway. But it could. We just want to shut the barn door before the horses get out. So I think by change leaving it at zero, but maybe changing that provided, although it kind of means the same thing, mm -hmm. but make it more like uh, our, our attorney said, unless or slash except. We could change that language in there to make it more explicit what we want to do. So uh, that, if we want to change it, that would be my suggestion how we do it. So, uh, it's yeah, because right. like a, a medical marijuana provider is allowed, but it's only allowed if it's within the Absolutely. same store as the other retail right. license. Yeah. That way, we don't have a, a separate medical marijuana store popping up somewhere else. Yeah. So I think if if council wants to just change that provided, though that provided means understanding, but we could be more concise if we wanted to. So I, is that, Can I say something? You, no, not right now. Yeah, so, like, yeah, let me, let me jump in yeah, here. So, sure. you, you had actually mentioned about them not having a license but sell, selling medical marijuana. They don't. They cannot. They cannot sell the medical products without the medical license. Correct. There's two licenses. There's the medical provisioning license and there's <clears> recreational. Well, the, hold on. Yeah, okay. The recreational stuff is stronger. Um, no, I'm not the sure. other way around. I'm Med sorry. Medical. The medical. Stronger. Stronger. Yeah, the medical stuff is stronger, and it's not so much of the flower, but it's a, like the oil and uh, uh, the gummies or whatever. Okay. Is, is how I I read it, anyways. Yeah. Well. Uh, Just to be clear, I, I know that you didn't mean medical, that. Medical no, uses are allowed a stronger milligram of an edible than a. a, a Recreational buyer. You can't sell, you can't sell medical um, in your store if you have rec recreational <coughs> unless you have a medical license. So I just said that. Yeah. Well, I know I'm not going to mention names, but um, there was in one instance that they refused to pay the five thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So I and so and I don't know whether they can get away with it or not, but and I I think you know who we're referring to, but. And so, well, what I just said is they can't sell the medical products. So. Yeah. Well, then what they're doing is illegal then. But uh, well, so so La Laura wouldn't let them because they no. all come with the UPC code straight from the processing center. Laura would not. Will I don't never think allow they're selling so them. Well. Huh? They're not yeah. selling. Hold so on. Hey, 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 hey! We're getting a little off base here. Okay. Yeah. Let's not turn this into a yeah. big discussion. So anyway, let's, uh, what, if we want to change that, we can change that word, one word, if, if, and that will make it more precise. If we want to change. But that. should we put one on there though? No, I, one I provi no, uh, here's, no, just I let me read it out that. like this. One provisioning center, one provisioning center operating under a license issued by Lara, provided the provisioning centers are permitted only if they are co-located with a marijuana retailer that is already approved pursuant to this ordinance. So it would just be redundant because somewhere else in this ordinance it does say exactly what we're saying. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Yeah. It really, whether you got one or zero, so go on. I don't think it really makes a difference. Well, the original ordinance said one. If we leave one, we can get to $5,000. Yeah. 
the license fee. If we remove it, you can't charge somebody for a license that you're not allowing them to have. Maybe even if one wanted to do that. As long as we're not, I, I it doesn't open the door for anything else. Well, I hope. I hope not. No. Um, I thought we talked about this at the meeting. Yeah. Yeah, we did, and we agreed to leave it at zero right. at the meeting. But uh, I never agreed to that. No, I thought we were going to do that one. Was going to be one. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. We were going to leave it at one, which is what it was originally. Yeah. Well, and that was for the original store, correct? That one provision, or rather one, once one establishment selling. Medical marijuana and recreational marijuana. That was that was the original wording of the store. ordinance, right. right? So they had both licenses under one the original store, mm -hmm. and now we have a court ordered one, yeah. and that is following the same procedure. So those are the only two licensed medical or licensed marijuana establishments we have currently in the city. Yes, and they both can sell. Medical and recreational. Um, the one didn't re did, the one didn't do the medical license. So ask the question. Uh, they they could have. The other one renewed, did. One has not renewed a license. They renewed their medical. retail license, but not, not their medical. medical. So yeah. that's what we're talking about. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, as long as the door shut tight. I, yeah, that's right. I, I, that's I mean, we, all we all want the same thing. Then. So are we changing it or not? So change it to one, mm -hmm. because it is still one is allowed. And specifically, where in the ordinance is that you're talking about, Jason? What, what uh, well, where, where was change? that where it said that the co located? No, it's right under 117. Right on the next page. Right then in the zoning. It's the paragraph that follows the numbered list of, of whatever, which starts with city council may at discretion. In the middle, it says all permits, authorization, or licenses issued pursuant to the consent judgment are subject to the terms of this ordinance provided. If any permits, authorizations, or licenses issued pursuant to the consent judgment are not renewed, lapse, or are revoked, such shall not be considered available or open under the limitations of this ordinance unless the city council, by resolution or ordinance, increases the number of authorized, authorized marijuana establishments permitted to operate within the city. All licenses, permits, and or authorizations issued under previous version of this ordinance are subject to this ordinance. It's the paragraph that follows the, the number, not one through ten. What section is it? Page six. One page six. Page six. Yeah, page six. Oh, three. Seventeen oh eight is one seventeen oh three. Mm -hmm. Is that is that the one you just got there, Steve? This is from the the, so, the one that came in with your packet. Okay. That's the. Okay. You, it's it's it's, it's, in, it's in your version. packet. It's this, page this, six. This paragraph is new. Or it changed anyways. Yeah. Page six, after the number 10, it's about halfway down, it starts at all permits, authorizations, or licenses yeah. issued. Okay. okay. So, so technically, since one is allowed, and we're talking about provisioning centers, and right now, since only one is allowed, right? Because that's what our ordinance says. The, the new store has taken a medical marijuana license. That means the existing store that's there now can't get one of those. That's all, I, only allow one. that's all I understand. But he can't change his mind and say, okay, I want to do it now. He's got to be, it's just one. Because and since he, he let that, since he let it last, I would say that he's, he so can't do the medical. You know, and that's what it seems like to me because our ordinance still says one. And it's just him letting a license lapse is just like going out of business. I mean, it's just like you didn't do it, and now there's only one allowed. And they took that. So, well, if that's the case, then I'll acquiesce. Here. And it is five thousand dollars. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I, I just want to make sure that it's 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 yeah. 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 The only yeah. one is allowed. So only one is taken right now. Right. So there were changes also as far as the numbers of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, we had yeah, to change the numbers. We had to change the numbers no as well. Uh, well, under secure transport, we made it one. Yeah. Why? And safety. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought we was, I thought we had this, this discussion like two months ago that we were zeroing everything out. I never said that. No, it wasn't voted on. But no, I know. Exactly. That's why we're here tonight. Okay. To decide what we're going to do. Six to seven. Yeah. Six to seven. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. We I think we should leave it at zero. So, <clears throat> so the way, a way a transporter works is they are unmarked vehicles. 
that literally just park in a parking lot. They are empty. I they're empty. Okay. They never have marijuana in them while they're here in our city. They would drive from here with an empty truck, go to processor. a processor or wherever they pick up the supply from, and then go and drop them off at whatever retailer they're taking them to. And when they would, if there was one of these businesses were interested in coming to town, they would come back and park their empty, unmarked truck. They're literally just like a, a white van with a DOT number. They don't say anything on them as far as Where you wouldn't know. Wherever, business, wherever business. they would buy their business. The thing is, is we don't even know if anybody's interested, but if they are, it does, there's really no negative. It's just an empty truck being parked, mm -hmm. and we can get another $5,000 from and the license. Two people apply for the license, and there's going to be a process for selecting one, correct? Uh, there's the city council would select, yep. Yeah, that, that's what bothers me about that. It seems like 1017 when we talked about this, the last one at 116, maybe there wasn't a general consensus, but my feeling through this whole edit process was we were going to zero except for all, uh, except for the businesses that were currently allowed on the court order or the one license that was established. So that's why I saw it looked to me like you know, we're adding business again. No, wait, we're as of right now, you're existing. contentious issue and, we, and having the licensing issues. If we had more than one, I was hoping we might How are we adding? We're not adding anything. We're, we're here to decide the old ordinance. We're, says we're well, serious it's about out. from zero to one. No, no, no. Right. It's never been zero. It's never been zero. We never got a chance to print. The ordinance okay. that was printed. All right. Well, then I'll I'll just maintain that you know I I was all understanding we're going to keep it at zero. It's not zero. Happy. It wasn't at zero. It's never been at zero. Well, maintain that suggested be zero. Right. Right. Just for the sake of discussion. That, so that was the, only the intention that I always thought that we were talking about when we went through the city process from the beginning. So we're we're gonna we're, what you're saying is that you would want to exclude a business that would possibly come here and take one of our buildings and have a business pay us five thousand dollars a year for the license. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Money is not everything. Just so we know we're about. How, but but it's just trucks about. being parked. Are you, are you against trucks? Uh, I understand. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about trucks. Yeah, we are, because that's the physical thing that'll be here. No marijuana. Licensing and expansion of the marijuana business. It's not an expansion, it's, it's existing. Well, allowing more businesses to come in and, and uh, making that opportunity available to the ordinance that we've written, I would prefer not to have. And yes, I would. I would choose the five thousand dollars. It's, em it's empty you know, trucks. Money is, is not the overriding issue. I would rather not have expansion of that business in town. And, you know, I, my position has been pretty clear on that, and I'm just uh, staying consistent with it. So I have a question. question. What's, what's the safety compliance facility? I saw um, that one got left up, or got Left that one as well. Someone who's in the business might understand it better than me, but it's literally like a, a, a small building, a lab. They have a, a, a analyzer and like a producer or a grower would bring product to that place. To like sample. It, 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 yeah, and they, and they, and they, that's a spectro something. They yeah. grade it, they grade it, they just see grade it. Yeah. How much, what it would, they, they grade they, it? They, they, they approve it if it's approved What's or if it's got to go, they got to get burned. Like yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and from, from, what I what I understand is once they're done testing it, it gets destroyed. Okay. So you're talking about small amounts that come in, yeah. get tested, get destroyed, and that's it. They're not holding much product, or no, there's no foot traffic, there's no storefront, there's no yeah, open yeah. to the public type of thing. No, that's it could be I a was, nondescript building anywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just curious. Anywhere doesn't have to be on the. It would have to be block. in a central business district at this and point. That's right? like yeah. The block. Yeah. yeah, somewhere in the central business district. Well, yeah, it goes down. Boardman, both ways. Too. My other question, and this is only if we decide right. to entertain licenses. We have to open up the process, which, whether we do or don't, we, we, I mean, we, we may never open up the process to ask for these licenses. But if we do, I don't know how much of a demand there is for it. But it's no impact on us, and it's five thousand dollars license. Is there somebody asking? Is somebody asking no. that you're talking about this? No. Are there are these licenses eligible for the state disbursement of funds that was just no. these? No, these ones no just the five thousand dollar license fees. Okay. Not even the no, no, and one no, of the no, property no. taxes. He's asking them. about the excise tax. Well, the that's only, the only, only on retail. The only businesses that are um, eligible for a share of the excise tax is um, the um, the retail and the the one that we don't have, which is 
a micro business, okay. which is basically a grower, processor, and right. a recreation or a storefront all in one facility. Sure. That was just my question. That was all. We took out the part that asked about them, uh, how they were. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, it's so word for word is so what was removed was including the number and type of jobs that the facility has created and the amount and type of compensation, including benefits paid for such jobs. That's number two. That's what was removed. And number three, what was removed was in the job creation for local residents achieved by the business results of efforts for community outreach and worker training programs. So that all sounds like business plan stuff. Yeah, it's like, right? like, yeah, we don't need to know how much their employees make, right. I don't feel. It's not I mean, that could potentially be problematic for us. Yeah, I don't want to know. Right, right. it's confidential. It's confidential. It's now we're to us anyway. Right. But I do want to know how many people they have working there. That's good to know. And what is their economic benefits to the city? That's great for us to know. Yeah. Yeah. That's why those were short, because we thought some of that uh, information wasn't really necessary. So, so, um, so I was basically, oh, that's basically what changes the change uh, I'm, I'm not. So the, I'm, the, okay, so the only the only change that we're going to we're saying look at doing is going to be 117. That zero three B four, and that is going to change it from zero to one provision center operating under the license to the Wouldn't it change the other ones? Because it doesn't it say one right now. The other ones, isn't it set at one right now? Yeah, right now it does. So we'd say be changing one. the ones to zero. We're just changing it on our draft. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see the originally adopted ordinance, right? Yep. Said one of everything. It says one of everything. Right. So our change would be to change it to zero. What, what we have here. This is this is yeah, what we're gonna, this is what we're going to introduce today yes. with the one change. And again, that's one seventeen dot zero three B four. And the original didn't have any micro businesses or consumptions or growers or. Do we have um, any more discussion on this? So four, we're changing to one. Yes. Yeah, we put it in the provision center, and that license is already taken. Yes, I, I would like to uh, have a vote on also six under 17037. I would like to see those re revert to zero. I can support everything else that's been discussed, but that is. Uh, we make a motion. Well, I don't know if we need to make, make a motion on it, do we? Yeah, well, if you want to do that, you want to do that. I move that uh, we would consider moving 117.03, number 6, from 1 to 0, and 117.037 to 0. Support. You got that done? Uh, okay. Um, 
Okay. So, well, to back up on this, so then what we're looking at is 117.03 on uh, B4, changing that from 0 to 1. We're not voting. No. You're only voting on the six number or six. Oh, and number seven. six and seven. Okay. Are we voting separate or together? Yeah. Are we voting separate on both of them? One motion. Or are you doing it together? One motion. One motion. Okay. Wait, wait. So we're voting for four, six, and seven? No, no. Just, okay. just, just six, six and seven. seven. Right. Six and seven. Okay. And, and I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A, a no vote would be to put it to one. Right. The yes vote would be to put it to zero. zero. Right. Yep. Thank you. Okay, um, so Mazer. Yes. Schneider. No. Sofa. No. Wilson. Yes. Weaver. Yes. Zimmer. No. Murder. No. Okay, so we've got Mazer, Wilson, and Weaver, yes. Schneider. So far, Zimmer and Murder, no. So, motion fail. Uh, so, any other sessions on it? Uh, no, so I think we need to go back to just with the, uh, the original look at it and taking and changing uh, 11703B4 to 1 mm -hmm. and then uh, introducing it with that change. Do you have a vote on that or no? Yes. 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 One, two. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's, in other words, there's. Uh, well, we're just adopting the whole thing now with the one yeah, instead of zero. Yeah, change. we'll be adopting with the uh, change. Unless there's now. something else that someone else is talking about. Is that, you have a motion on that now? Yeah. I do. Okay. I'll make a motion then that we <clears throat> introduce ordinance number. 2018 with the amendments and 218. 218. 218. With the amendments of uh, to 117.03 uh, authorized establishments, B, number four, then they change to from zero to one. So I think that addresses it. Support. Schneider. Yes. Sofa. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Weaver. Yes. Zimmer. Yes. Martyr. Yes. Mazer. No. Okay, I have Schneider, Sofa, Wilson, Weaver, Zimmer, and Martyr. Yes. Mazer, no. So motion passed. All right, next up. Um, this is uh, Marijuana Establishment's uh, Business Hours. And we're looking at uh, a request. Uh, the zoning ordinance provides that retailers are not permitted to open between 8 p.m. and 9 a.m. If uh, you want to vary the hours, you will need to request a variance from the ordinance. Uh, this, would, this would be uh, the hours we were speaking of here. Uh, wants to extend the hours. If he wants to vary the hours, you will need to request a variance from the ordinance. Um, from the ordinance requires from ZBA. Ultimately, the ordinance would have to be changed to allow for different hours. The zoning ordinance change requires a public hearing by planning followed by recommendations from planning to city council. Um, then the council would make the decision. So what we're looking is to send the request from Joyology to the planning commission to allow the uh, establishment business hours to be extended to 10 p.m., correct? I, I think that's what I was initially uh, was told. However, I think then there was a request to, to extend that, wasn't it? Uh, Whatever was sent to Donna. Well, that's what the, the, uh, the dispensary now wants to know if you can extend the hours to let them stay open until 10 p.m. Oh, is that? I thought it was yeah. Yeah, okay. 10 p.m. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't be in favor of longer. So, yeah. so I have a question. Yeah. Um, so if he goes through the process of the planning commission and they make the recommendation that comes back and council decides not to change, then his next step would be the zoning board of appeal, right? right. For a variance. Right. Okay. Just so I'm, I'm clear on what. So we start with planning, back to council, 
depending on the council's decision, then it would end up with the, with the uh, zoning board. Yep. Yeah. If, if we do the zoning board of appeals only, then that would apply to only one store. If we go through planning commission, then it would apply to both, both businesses. And so, and I, well, we'd actually be have to change the ordinance. Yeah. The zoning, yeah. Yeah, the uh, um, planning commission, and I, um, I'm suggesting because of the nature of that, that that should be held at the uh, Lions Club, and we did check, and that is open at those dates. And uh, very good. I also have written the up the uh, notice that will appear in the newspaper, and uh, you just have to with, you know finalize that when you hit. So day. right now, I just I'm looking for a motion to send this to planning. Well, I just wanted to ask. If it's a zoning issue, how can it go to the planning commission? Anything in zoning goes to the planning commission. Everything related to zoning. Starts with planning, yes. Planning yes. Commission. I'll make a motion then to uh, turn it uh, forward to the city of planning commission. Support. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Maser? Yes. Schneider? Yes. This is going Up next, he allows something. Donna is asking uh, that we change the allowance for the per diem when uh, they're traveling from fifteen dollars or from fifty dollars to seventy-five. Um, just so you know, Donna, I did look this up, and, and actually, I'm affected by this too. If I have to travel, and right now the IRS, what their per diem is, uh, is that. Sixty-four dollars mm -hmm. per day. Would you be good with that? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll make the motion to uh, increase the meal allowance um, to sixty-four dollars a day. If this is only applicable when they are at training or seminars, and if the meals are not included in those seminars. Support. Wilson. Yes. Weaver? Yes. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Uh, fire, fire Department donation from Joy Allen. Doug? Um, at last month's meeting, I mentioned to City Council that the fire department was getting bids for a new furnace and air conditioner for the department. After the meeting, the owner of Joyology approached me and said he would be willing to purchase air conditioner and heater for us and have it installed, which they have done. Inside? Yes, it's done, up and running. Fantastic. Um, I guess, you know, we, we talk about these dispensaries coming into the community and they give back to the community. This was a big give back. Do you know what it ran? What, like, what what was, was, what my, was my lowest quote was $7,500. Yeah. And so your quote was $7,500. He just came in and replaced it and took the bill and ran with it, right? He had his own contractors done. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. So I, I guess awesome. City Council has to approve the donation. Oh. I guess I make that motion to approve the donation. Support. Weaver. No, and I would just like to qualify that give me a chance to say it, but I just hate to have any appearance of impropriety when there's an issue before the planning commission to extend the hours. I just uh, feel a little bit about that, but I appreciate the uh, so Zimmer? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Okay, I have Zimmer, Murder, Mazur, Schneider, Sofa, Wilson, yes. Weaver, no, so motion carried. Now that it's approved, I would just like to make a huge thank you. No problem. Thank you. So thank you very much, sir. Yeah, right. thank no you. problem. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, okay, again, you Doug, we have uh, an invoice from Premier Safety. Yeah, um, we had an air bottle damaged in a fire incident couple months back this is the purchase of a replacement it's already been covered by an insurance payment to us so. you see air bottle for our air packs that we wear oh, okay 
This is the cost of one air pack. One bottle for one air pack. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the, the air pack itself is about six thousand dollars. Oh. Well, then, uh, can I get a motion to uh, pay the bill of premier safety for? Uh, $1,877.84. Are we paying it? You said it was covered by insurance. Insurance sent us a check. Okay. So okay. we have to pay for it. Then, uh, then I make that motion. So it's going to be okay. Zimmer? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Weaver? Yes. All right, next up. Uh, <clears throat> We need to accept a bid for the sale of the 2010 F-250 truck from the DPW. So if you had quite a few bids and quite a few big spread, and it looks yeah. like we did pretty good on Six that. bids, yes. Um, so yes. what I see is the high bid on this was uh, $17,500. $17,100, wasn't it? No, five, 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 That's what I had to tell you. Mine said $100 on my desk. Okay, this was $17,500 just right here. Hey. <laughs> so, can I get a motion to accept the the, uh, the bid for the sale of the truck, please? I'll make a motion that we accept the bid for seventeen thousand five hundred classic driving school and proceed the deposit in the DPW equipment and replacement fund. Support. Mm -hmm. Martyr. Yes. Mazur. Yes. Schneider. Yes. Sofa. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Weaver. Yes. Zimmer. Yes. <coughs> All right, up from the mayor. Um, so we've got uh, some complaints here about uh, mailboxes being damaged by uh, snow plows. Um, I've touched base with Bart on this. I mean, I have a letter from somebody I cannot attend the meeting tonight, so I'm issuing a complaint and writing on board uh, to the board. This has happened on other occasions. I've never mentioned it, but now is the time. There is no need for the snow plows to drive 40 plus mile an hour on Pratt Road. They are throwing the snow with so much force that it is destroying mailboxes and uh, the beautiful dress signs that us residents have bought. In the past, I have witnessed mailbox blow down completely off of their post. Snow five feet off of the road is fine. It doesn't need to be 30 feet. Your equipment will do the job. Uh, just as well at 25 miles an hour. This is sent by uh, Tom Murphy and another complaint and there's been some phone calls. Um, I touched base with Bart on this and there is somebody else that has been plowing Pratt Road other that's than what, the DPW. That's what was witnessed that night by my, uh, one of my employees one of in the bench truck. Before he even started plowing, as he was going down, he noticed mailboxes down, so he called me immediately. So I don't know because the, 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 the county does plow the gravel portion of Pratt. Whenever they get to it. So we don't know if they're turning around and dropping their plow while they're going down that way. This was, I thought, was a, a white pickup truck. Okay. And then it was brought to and my you don't attention. plow the roads with the pickup truck. Oh yeah. Most part. Well, I will. Yeah. yeah but, I mean, but I don't go 40 miles an hour down the road. So. Right. And that was such a heavy snow. Uh, I think I was actually watching this, but I'm right. They have it uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour at the most. Yeah. I mean, There's no need to go yeah, I, I, I can tell you, the, the county goes by that way at my house. Yeah, yeah. It's, and they yeah. hit hard. I'm surprised that Main Street wasn't wiped out. Well, with well, this heavy snow, I've seen a whole lot of mailboxes. Yeah, okay. I mean, I have, I have a piece of the mailbox that I sent. So, I mean, it, it, it is a plastic one, but regardless, I mean, you know. But there's full snap and everything, but uh, again, yeah. the, on Pratt Road, the scout <laughs> called me and, and drew it to my attention, and then I took my 4x4 four four down there to view. Oh yeah, but there was somebody down there earlier, but he had noticed. He didn't notice any flags on the doors or anything like that. So right. Some <laughs> A good Samaritan plowing the road for the people. And Maybe he drove down there to buy one driver. I don't know. Right. Maybe he cut his own path. Okay. I don't know. All right. Now, <laughs> well, we've never been in have a replaced mailbox or the Is that overnight or in the morning or? We were plowing. I'm not sure at what time now. I. But when you saw it, I mean, or when it was brought to your attention. Yeah, <laughs> okay. For a little hour than that. Can I have a blur that night? Yeah, can I have a blur for a oh, week? Yeah, I had right. it, but, uh, 
I just yeah. want to understand what that Oh, wait. Well, I guess I could search my phone, maybe pinpoint it from the phone. Uh, I just wonder. Regardless, it's yeah. just, yeah, as well as this issue that's covered, so. Um, other than that, let's see, do I have anything else down up here? I don't think so. Um, so, anything else for me? No, I have nothing else. Uh, Jason? I have nothing. Larry? Nothing. Mr. Weaver? Bobby? I'm good, thanks. Eric? Uh, I have nothing. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, everybody. Bye.